I'm impressed the Scattered Bones knew about this route. Still, seems like an awful lot. Wait, that's... A secret underground dungeon? I sure feel a lot of malevolence. I wonder who was kept down here. Whoever they were, no doubt they left their hatred here. Hatred against the royal family. You shouldn't feel personally responsible. I'm fine. Let's just look for a way out. Some of these cells are opened. Let's be careful. Saray, look around you. This aroma. There must be herbs around here. There might be something nearby. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. be the source of the malevolence. It looks like an echidna. Such deep hatred. It must have quite a grudge. Watch out for its crimson flag! Make it burn your soul! When it's go time, we go all the way! Overdo it and you'll just exhaust yourself, Saray. All things in moderation, as they say. Oh, I get it. Huh? This must be connected to the Sacred Blade Ruins. Because the torches and architecture are the same, huh? If I may say so, this place is oddly nostalgic. They both date from the same era. There's no way they'd keep the waterways separate. We should be able to get out through the Sacred Blade Ruins. So the bustling city of Lady Lake sits right on top of an enormous network of ruins! You can find a reason to smile in any situation. Is that weird? I'm just who I am, no matter what happens. Well, fair enough. I'll give you that. Don't encourage him, Alicia. Saray needs to realize for himself what a weirdo he really is. Anyone who hangs around with a weirdo must be pretty weird themselves, don't you think? Looked in a mirror lately? Oh my! What a beautiful maiden! Pot's calling the kettle black, wouldn't you say? That's...
Let's go on ahead. Finally, we're free. The sun's high up already. Huh? Hey. Y yeah it was just so bright I got a little lightheaded. Well, I'm a bit frazzled myself from lack of sleep. Hmm? I'm sure my manor is being watched. Let's rest at the inn for now. We should dry our wet clothes as well or we'll catch a cold. Good idea. Guess we caused yet another scene. Hooray for us. Well, at least we got rid of the malevolence. Incidentally, I suppose. But even so, I'm glad. It feels like now there's nothing we've left undone. You say that like it's your end. In a way, it is. I have decided I'm going to Marland. That's a plague town. You can't really mean to obey them. Whatever twisted motives the Chancellor may carry, the Order is official. And besides, it doesn't change the fact that Marland is suffering. I want to do everything I can for the people of Highland. Alicia! The Council may laugh, but so be it. All right, then I'm going with you. You can't get involved. I've already caused you so many problems. But how do you plan on getting to Marland? The bridge is washed away. Well... I don't know. Four heads are better than one. And we have excellent foreheads. Besides, we need that bridge too, after all. Thank you. No need to thank us. Dinner last night was off the chain! All right. Let's go check on the state of the bridge. Saray, about what happened at the palace. Hmm? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry. Don't worry about it. But I really had no idea they would go that far. I'm sure you would have been fine, but still. No. If you hadn't shown up, I'm pretty sure Bartlow and the others would all be dead now. I imagine you think it foolish of me to protect those who tried to have me killed. But this is how the game is played. If they were suddenly eliminated, the resulting chaos would spiral out of control. So... So it came down to country first, Alicia second. Am I right? Oh dear. I came to apologize, and here I am airing my grievances at you. Worry not, fair squire. This too is the shepherd's duty. Then you have my thanks, noble shepherd. If my humble self may be of service in any respect, do not hesitate to ask. <laughs> then can I ask a favor? Of course. Could you apologize to the soldiers for me? Let them know I'm sorry for hitting them. I'll make sure to do so. I'm sure they already know quite well that you let them off easy. Yeesh, I can hardly stand to listen to those two. But we did anyway. Well, we didn't overhear them on purpose. You're worried, aren't you? Saray tends to shoulder a heavier burden than he needs to. That's all. of the land, huh? Can you become one by making the Sacred Blade your vessel? It's possible, but the Sacred Blade is already a part of you now. And... And? I don't deserve to be enshrined by the people in this city. 
Rather than choosing to become the lord of the land, I chose to go on my own personal journey and ignore the malevolence that overtakes this city. Huh. Lila? How long were you dwelling in the Sacred Blade? It's been... more than ten years now. You'd waited a long time for the Shepherd to appear. For the sake of people all over the world. I suppose so. But our journey's just started. Yes, this is only the beginning. Hey, Alicia? Ah! Ah! Sorry, I didn't know you were getting changed. <laughs> it's okay. I was just grooming my armor a bit. Still, it was pretty brazen of me to just enter a girl's room like that. Then allow me to invite you into my room officially. Come in, Saray. If you insist. Was there something you wanted? Oh. I was wondering if you're okay with the pace of the battle. Let me know if you feel overwhelmed. I'm fine. My lance and armor are as good as ever. I've been wanting to ask you, actually. Your armor is pretty special, right? <laughs> you mean the transparent parts, right? This armor has been passed down through the Difta family for generations. I'm farthest from the lineage, but there's an ancestor of mine who was renowned for his courage and bravery. It was said he defeated a monster which turned anything it saw into black crystal. Black crystal? Wait, does that mean- Yes, it's said this is the armor he wore. It is part of an old legend after all, so only some parts of it remain. Do you want to see it? Sure. It's a lot clearer than I thought it'd be. I had no idea. Alicia, your meal is... Oh, my. Sorry to interrupt you two. L lila it it's not what you think. Yeah. Guess you really should knock before entering someone's room. can't get over their skills you mean those assassins yeah from what I could sense they're practically hellion class they're still just regular humans aren't they I think so mm. but why aren't they hellions well maybe they're good people good people they're the most feared assassins guild on the continent you know about the scattered bones scarcely a soul doesn't no one's seen their faces and lived to tell the tale so this is all just conjecture but rumor holds that they've been involved in close to a hundred assassinations. Nobility, military officers, underworld bosses. I'd always thought them just a colorful urban myth, but... Given their fighting skills, I'd say they're the real deal. And yet it is a fact that they were not Hellions. Do you think there is a reason for this? That I could not say. A reason they don't turn into Hellions? Please don't tell me you want to hunt them down and ask. Who knows? We might meet him again whether we like it or not. Boy, lucky us. Saray, so look around you. Would you like some? No one has done any work on it? How could this be? Excuse me. really believe Saray is the shepherd at all. Good. Better than them expecting too much of him. 
Besides, I'm sure Saray has bigger things on his mind right now. Like fixing the bridge, you mean? Yeah. I can't believe how little progress has been made. I guess Marland is going to be quarantined for a little while longer. I want to do something to help them. That's a curious outfit. You must be the shepherd. Yes, I'm Saray. I am Naif, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Saray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the water spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, that was nothing. Hey, Mr. Naif? Was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the water spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Three. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you were the shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a ferry captain to... But then that fairy captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Do you have a moment? Hey, I'd like to discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? Well, I want to assist with the reconstruction too. For Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility.
Sarai, I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Leave everything to me. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Is there a problem? Rayfolk's Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the Celestial Record. Tell me, do you know the legend of the Eight Serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the Eight Dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the Underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning. But even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either. Saray, look carefully at the ground. The mountain certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. Can't take the heat, huh? Looks like Zavid here is gonna have to show you first timers how it's done! Killed it? You bastard! 
Hey, it was a Hellion, and Hellions belong in Hell. We could have safely quelled it. There was no need to kill it. Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. What? Why? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the Shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two-shoes, can't I? You knew I was the Shepherd? A self-righteous choir boy facing off against a Hellion. Who else would you be? The name's Zavid. Damn pleased to make your acquaintance, gentle Shepherd. How dare you! The Spirit Crest is way out of your league. If a dragon were even to yawn in your general direction, you'd be gone. We are not here to battle dragons. Your concern is noted. You're not? Well, that's no fun. Nothing adds spice to life like a sworn enemy. I take it you are here to fight the dragon, then? That had been the plan, yes. The plans, they change. You serious? <laughs> Looking pretty good, aren't I? Zavid, what is it you want? Do you really think I'd be willing to just drop the Shepherd and his toadies into the dragon's lap so we could gobble them right up? If you're so eager to get eaten by the dragon and compound his power, it's better that you die by my hand! Here and now! Not fast! Spirit cleansing! Break on through! First! Break down! enough, okay? You're the one who attacked us! I said I'm sorry already, sheesh. I'm not your enemy. Let's call a truce, deal? Fair enough. There's no reason for us to fight. See? Somebody here has their head on straight. And besides, we're all part of the same team in the end. You know what I mean? Are we? Sure, I don't plan on becoming anyone's sublord. Speed. All right, all right already. I'll leave you alone, your shepherdness. It's Saray. Sure, sure, Saray the shepherd. Well, I got better things to do. Don't forget to run if you see a dragon. Is it really true that a dragon lives here? You got eyes, don't you, Saray? Why don't you try using them? What is that guy's problem? His power. It doesn't feel like purification at all. Almost more like it feeds on malevolence. <clears throat> I can't respect someone like that. A Seraph who would just kill a Hellion. Yeah. It's sickening. Let's be off. We have our own agenda to fulfill. Right. Just a moment. I want to bury them. Saray. He feels responsible. Let's go, Miklia. Lila. There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. I think I've mastered the art of cooking. Assassin's Guild? 
Why would you be after me? Do you realize how disturbed the people have become? With someone like you running around pretending to be the Shepherd? Huh? But I mean, I am the Shepherd! Care to prove it, Shepherd? As if you could. Yeah. Then fight a fight! Vermillion blessings burn away! Pillars of flame! Keep your word about you! Christian flame! May you burn your soul! We should run. Something's odd about this. You're right. They don't seem to be Hellions. Agreed. If anything, I think they're intentionally giving us a chance to escape. I wonder if they'll still target me. This aroma. Lila, you've been acting a little funny. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I'm quite picky about the way things curl up into a tight ball. The way things curl up? Yes. It was the Armadillo Seraphim who taught me the true splendor of it. I'm disappointed in the Hellion we encountered. Very amateur hour. The Armadillo Seraphim? I'm kind of not following this. The Armadillo Seraphim. Arma Walt and Arma Langston. You know. The legendary three-time curling champions. No, I don't know. I'm kind of not at all following this. It was they who told me of the world's greatest curlist, Arma Dillon, who left years ago on a journey to master the curl. What I wouldn't give to see that ultimate curl. It's my dream. Nicolio, is she okay? Something tells me we should just let this one slide. Yeah. Arma Dillon, where hast thou gone? Let's go. Saray, what happened to your usual archaeology fever? I'm quite sure there's all sorts of things to research about that shrine. I can't say I'm not interested. But there are people suffering right now because they're missing a bridge. I'll deal with it. There will be plenty of other times for exploring. I'm glad. I feel I may have been misjudging you this whole time. Please, forgive me. No need to apologize. Saray's usually so predictable. Very true. I predict we'll talk later, Miklio. This place sure is beautiful. I imagine the dragon legend keeps people away, so there isn't much chance for malevolence to accumulate. There's some sort of shrine as well. Seraphim do live here. Maybe all that talk about a dragon on the mountain was started intentionally by humans who were trying to protect the shrine. Hmm. Well, even if that's true, 
It doesn't look like it was very effective. Look at this. Someone left flowers. Proof that people ventured all the way up here. A shrine, and yet no seraphim in sight. It is a bit curious. A seraph doesn't usually wander far from the shrine where he's worshipped. Could the dragon have gotten him? Who can say? But if there really were a dragon here, I would expect far more malevolence in this area. We'll have to move on and find out. Yeah. about that guy just now. He's always just so... blasé. I also want to ask about that strange item he had. And what nerve! Being so scantily clad in front of a lady like that? Maybe now's not a good time to bother her. Good call. What? Is this? Is this the domain? It can't be. Are you saying malevolence could corrupt a domain this far? We should escape! The strongest entity in the domain decides its form. It has nothing to do with right or wrong, or malevolence. <sighs> but... It's just like with Gramps. The lord of this land must have detected our intrusion. Dragon is a recent addition to the mountain? No, it can't be. Are you Edna? Oh, Edna! I can't believe it! You, a dragon! Nope, guess again. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. Brother, you must stop. Brother? So even my voice no longer reaches you. He's coming. Run like the wind. Is she the Seraph you were looking for, Lila? She is. Does this look like the time to chat? Move! Defensive maneuvers! Okay. Let's just get out alive! Is there a school you go to to get that dumb? Huh? You crave the fame of being a dragon slayer? Is that it? Edna! I thought you really had become a dragon! Thank goodness! Well, you haven't changed. People would respect you more if you actually worked on your personality. Actually, we came here looking for you. So you marched into a dragon's territory? You guys really did go to Dum Dum Academy. Why, you? I'm sorry. <sighs> so? Huh? Was there something you wanted? Oh, yeah. I'm Soray. We need you to lend us your power. 
We were hoping you could make the foundation for a bridge, so it can be repaired. No. <gasps> I despise Earth Dwellers. Self-centered, emotional. But when they need something, it's... Oh, dear Seraphim, heed my prayer! Heed this, morons. And besides, I can't leave my brother as he is right now. That dragon, he's your brother? Yes, that's correct. That is Aizen. He's the only family I have. But... Edna, was it? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. That's right. What do you even plan on doing? Well, I... Um... I thought there had to be some way to cure his condition, but I haven't found anything. Well, there we go. I bet I can quell him. Seriously? Once a seraph has become a dragon, even the flames of purification cannot salvage them. Are you saying there's no way to save her brother? The only option I know of is to kill him. If we even can, that is. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. I don't want to admit it, but... Either way, it's dangerous to be here. I won't ask you to help us after all, but you should get far away from here. I agree. This is none of your business. Look, Edna. Leave me alone. I guess our cooperation won't come so easily. We'll find some other way. The more important thing is, we can't leave her here like this. True enough. Well, then I guess we'd better go after her. What's this? Did you bury them? Yeah. It was the least I could have done. Huh. Edna. Enough. I don't care how dangerous it is. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Then let's go together, and find some way to save Aizen. Didn't I tell you already? There is no way. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm? The Seraphim, the Shepherds, the Dragons, they really did exist. There are still so many legends, which have yet to be uncovered in this world. There must be a way to purify the Dragons somewhere, just waiting for the right person to find it. There he goes again. Not now. You're asking me to believe that? Yes. Can you give us a chance? All right, Saray. You win. I'll go with you. Wonderful. But let's be clear. Huh? If you really wanted to take me with you, you should have just dragged me kicking and screaming. Let's go hunt legends, my lady. My noble heart would not deceive thee. That went out of fashion a few hundred years ago. I... I didn't think I was... Suri's never been in fashion. Okay, Lila. Make me your sublord. Wait a minute. I didn't mean for you to... You're the one that invited me, aren't you? Yes, but still. And in any case, if I'm supposed to leave here, I need to be transferred into a new vessel. If not, I'll be corrupted by malevolence. Or didn't you think about that? Well... Academy Valedictorian, this one. Come on, Lila. Are you really okay with this? You were just telling us how much you hate humans. I do hate humans, but I guess this one's pretty okay. 
Thank you, Edna. Promise me something. Promise me that we'll find some way to save Aizen. Together. O oh, ye born of firmest resolve. Here let our pact be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite aloud your name. Have some Yuland. Already carrying a divine artifact to serve as your vessel? Looks like we've been had, Saray. <laughs> I never did understand girls. Now then, take me with you to the outside world. You got it. Here we go, Edna. Miklio, not Waterboy. Miklio, not Waterboy? That's a new one. Call me what you like. See if I care. Okay, Mebo. It's Miklio, all right? Miklio! <laughs> if you say so. Well, I see who runs this household. Yep. Whoa, what? Since when was this a household? Yeah! Can you guys not practice your comedy routines inside my head? Flavored chiffon cake is simply divine. I could eat it all day. You sure like chiffon cakes, huh? Yes, I've liked them ever since I was young. It's also fun to make them, too. You'd make a cake and then eat it by yourself? Isn't that kind of weird? You don't know. Girls always have room for sweets. Hey, why are you poking me? Because you didn't know that. That's my fault? If girls really get in the mood for it, they can easily eat like 10 chiffon or butter cakes after dinner. You can't be serious. But it's actually doable, isn't it, Edna? Even you, Lila? But if you do that, you'll gain weight. Ouch! Finish that sentence and you're gonna get it. You're already giving it to me! You really like sweets, don't you? Sure do. They're tasty and easy to eat. And also... Also? Oh. Just shut up and go eat already. Th thanks Thanks. And also because they're a souvenir that he would always bring for me. You. They called you their boss, didn't they? I really am the Shepherd. I know you won't believe me, but it's true. Real or fake, it doesn't matter a bit. I can feel someone's blessed domain. What? What? Crimson Splendid job, Saray. Let's keep it up. Oh my, that's Dezel. Do you know of him? He lives the life of a vagabond, 
I heard he had taken a liking to a particularly fearsome band of traveling mercenaries. Why is he with the assassins? I suppose something happened to the mercenaries. There must be a story behind it. You don't just join up with a bunch of assassins for no reason. I'm surprised he hasn't become a Hellion by now, hooking up with an assassin's guild. There was no malevolence at all coming from that assassin. No way. No malevolence will fester among those who are pure and clean of heart. That assassin was exactly like you, Saray. A pure and clean of heart assassin? Really? They make those? Apparently. What's wrong? So, it doesn't matter if I'm real or fake, huh? Then I guess this is what you meant by me taking on the burden of the Shepherd. Yep. Don't fool yourself. Humans don't think for a moment about how you feel. But what do you expect? They're humans. She's right, I'm afraid. You'll have to learn to deal with it. Well, good thing you're pretty tough to begin with. <laughs> I wish. Still don't think you can help us out? The Shepherd can command the Seraphim at will, isn't that right? Do whatever you want. Yeah, no, you're not a tool for me to use. If you really don't want to help, I'll find some other way. I see. You like to guilt trip a girl into making the first move. What? Saray, maintain your purity! <sighs> I knew she was messed up, but... Man, if you guys aren't the dullest crew of fuddy-duddies ever assembled, I was going to help you from the get-go anyway. <sighs> You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks a million. Saray, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? You're being targeted by assassins, right? <sighs> Sure looks like it. Did you cause someone to have a grudge with you? Like that unmalevolent assassin? Hmm, not that I can recall. So you have no recollection of it, but somehow you are targeted by an unmalevolent assassin who has a seraph dwelling in them? Well, I mean, I think it's just because I'm the shepherd. Because you're the shepherd, huh? So you are somehow targeted by an assassin who somehow isn't affected by malevolence, which somehow possessed a seraph which didn't turn into a hellion. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, I'm glad you understand. So, basically you're totally clueless here. Pretty much. <sighs> <sighs>